Miguel in Lagos, um, Masterclass Vlog in 101 Night Camera Action. My name is Eniola Tito Akumere. I giggled because for years I've been trying to go by Eniola, but it hasn't worked. Whenever people hear my name is Tito, they defer to Tito, so I don't just call me Tito. So welcome guys, it's great to see everyone. It's interesting, this, I guess people are still coming. The event is, um, it's sold out, meaning that it's at capacity, but I guess people are still trickling in traffic and all that. But it's great to have everyone here and to see everyone. Uh, it's, it's always interesting when you apply to, to do functions like these workshops and seminars. You know, you apply, I don't know how the reception is going to be, whether people will, you know, come for it or subscribe to it. But it was very encouraging while observing the, the back end of um, everything and seeing that uh, people were signing up for this event. So thank you once again for coming. Now, um, before we get started proper, proper, and while people are still trickling in, let's do a little bit of Q&A if you don't mind. Um, yes, and I have to warn you, this session is going to be quite interactive. Um, you know how you go for seminars and workshops sometimes and you don't feel like really games that much. They just talk about surface stuff and you don't really go to this isn't going to be one of those workshops or master classes. We're going to do what you guys want to do. We're going to meet you guys at the same church at your point of being and all that. So I will be asking you guys what your thoughts are, what your concerns are, what the number one takeaway you want to you know get from this master class is, so that as I'm sharing my slides and as I have a panel discussion with Stella and Ngozi, we can tailor our responses to you guys, for you guys. Okay, is that cool? Yes. All right, so a um, little bit of Q&A. This is the fourth edition, yes, the fourth edition of Social Media Week. The first one was in 2013. Uh, now, if this is your first Social Media Week uh, Lagos event, or your first year here, can I see your hands up? Wow. I know her. You are welcome. <laughs> well, it's great to see everyone. Thank you all so once again for coming. My name is Tito once again. A little bit about me. I am a photographer and I'm a partner at a uh, media company called Urban Management. We create content for television and web. We like to say we create content for a difference. Oh, sorry, content with a difference. And um, we applied to do this, this uh, master class because we believe that video really is the future and the statistics you know, testify to that. More and more people are getting into video. Um, data is getting cheaper, so many of you are going to be less concerned about oh my data, oh my data, when you're out making videos online. If you notice, even on Facebook, Facebook does that annoying thing of when you get on Facebook and if someone has shared a video, it starts playing by itself. Is it just me or you guys experience that? And I hate that thing. Here we go. Um, that's about me. So these are things that we will do. Yes. Did you guys get this slide in your inbox this yes. morning? Yes. You did? No. Oh, you no. Everyone that registered up until 12.30 a.m. this morning. So with I don't know what email address you used to um, log in or to register for social media. But the official email address that you guys used to register for this event because I have access to that. I emailed it to everyone as at 12.30 a.m. So if you don't have it, okay. But yeah, so if it's on your phone, feel free to follow, and uh, if it's not, you can get it later. All right, so these are things we won't talk about. Video and online video is very wide. So there's so many things, analytics, video marketing, frame rates, um, set design, outsourcing, branding, thumbnails, video titles. We really can't talk about all that. Uh, what we will do are these five things. Number one, why online video content is the future of the web. Number two, types of online videos. Three, gear. we'll talk about gear. Um, number four, getting paid, how YouTubers make money. And number five, tips for beginners. Before I move on, what, two questions actually. What are the key takeaways that you guys want to get from today's masterclass? Okay, my sister. How to make money. Money from video. Yeah. Alright. Anyone else? Okay. Gear. Gear. Sorry. Best gear. Come again? Best gear. Best gear. Okay. We'll get to that. Best gear is not always the expensive gear, but we'll talk about that. 
tips for beginners. Tips for beginners. Awesome. Lighting. Lighting. Fantastic. How to make those intros that they make that are so exciting and interesting. Okay, so why online video is the future of the web? As I said earlier, now more than ever, video is more accessible and it's never been cheaper to do video than it is now. Next year, it's probably be cheaper to do video than it is currently. You have uh, point and shoot cameras, not even the DSLRs that Derry or Daniel are using, but even the smaller point and shoots that do really good video. Some people do 4K video and they're cheap, about like less than $200. So there's that, and then there's even the software is accessible, Final Cut Pro and uh, Adobe. Now, I think now the main thing is that you can, I mean, that's the slogan of YouTube, isn't it? Broadcast yourself. You have an avenue to actually put the video out, which prior to 2005, when YouTube started, I don't think we had anything like that, where you could broadcast video. I don't think anyone was doing video. Even back then, the um, founders of YouTube would say that to upload like a, a two-minute video would take the better part of the day because the servers, the infrastructure, a lot of things weren't in place back then. But over the years, especially with Google acquiring YouTube, which is really a miracle, because they established in 2005, they created the domain name on um, the domain name YouTube.com on Valentine's Day 2005. And then um, by November 2006, Google had acquired YouTube for $1.6 billion dollars, which now all the Silicon Valley guys are like, are you guys sure it didn't sell too cheap, 1.65? But bear in mind, inflation, it was a different, it, you know, a billion dollars back then was a big deal. Now, because Facebook is buying everything, Facebook bought Instagram for a billion dollars, and the value between YouTube, I'm digressing. <laughs> anyway, so when Google acquires a company, because Google is such a behemoth of a company, they have everything you need for you to be what's because they have a stake in it. And at the time, YouTube, Google acquiring YouTube was the second biggest acquisition for Google, and as we all know, it has paid off. It's more or less a one horse race. YouTube is like, there are other video sharing sites, but YouTube is, is the go-to. Facebook is trying to keep up or, or trying to join the race. We'll see how that goes. Because Facebook is a sponsor of Social Media in Lagos, I will be candid with my opinions on, on Facebook's potential of, of being a big player in video.